Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover how to add three-digit numbers using expanded form. Now these problems are going to be without regrouping. Using expanded form gives us a better overall understanding of addition. It shows us what's going on within these problems. So let's jump into number one where we have 326 plus 152. Now I have both of those numbers in expanded form, so we'll go from there. 326, well, the three right here is in the hundreds place. It has a value of 300. That three represents three groups of 100. The two in the tens place represents two groups of 10, which has a value of 20. And then the six in the ones place represents six ones, so it has a value of six. As far as 152, well, we have one in the hundreds place, so a value of 100, a five in the tens place, a value of 50, and then a two in the ones place, so a value of two. Now that we have everything in expanded form, we can add. And when we add, we always start with the ones place. So six ones plus two ones gives us eight ones bring our addition sign down, and work our way to the left. So we have the tens place next, 20 plus 50. That's going to give us 70. Bring our addition sign down, and then we have 300 plus 100. That's going to give us 400. Now that we have that, we can put it together for our final answer an eight in the ones place, a seven in the tens place, and a four in the hundreds place. So eight in the ones place, an eight with a value of eight, a seven in the tens place, because we need the value of 70 there, and then a four in the hundreds place, because that four has a value of 400. So 400 plus 70 plus eight gives us an answer of 478. Now, if we were to solve this um, using the problem to the left without expanded form, we would get the same thing. 6 plus 2 is 8. 2 plus 5 is 7. 3 plus 1 is 4. 478. Now, using expanded form, like I mentioned earlier, really breaks the problem down and shows us exactly what's going on within the problem. So it gives us a better overall understanding of addition. Let's move on to number two, where we have 581 plus 417. So for this one, we're going to need to put these numbers into expanded form. 581, we will do first. So we have a five in the hundreds place. That five represents five groups of 100 and has a value of 500. Plus an eight in the tens place. That eight represents eight groups of 10, so a value of 80. Plus a one in the ones place. So that represents one one, which has a value of one. Let's do 417. So a four in the hundreds place, so that four has a value of 400. Plus a one in the tens place, so that value um, is going to be 10, one group of 10. Plus seven in the ones, that represents seven ones, a value of seven. Now we can add all of our places together. One plus seven in the ones place, so we get eight ones. We can then bring our addition sign down, and now we do the tens place. So 80 plus 10 is going to give us 90. Plus 500 plus 400, 900. So we have 900 plus 90 plus eight, or we can think of this as, we have an eight in the ones place, a nine in the tens place, because that nine has to have a value of 90, and then 900, so a nine in the hundreds place. That nine represents 900. So our answer is 998. 
Let's solve the same problem to the left without using expanded form and see if we get the same thing. So one plus eight in the ones place is going to give us eight. Eight plus one, which is actually 80 plus 10, is going to give us nine in the tens place, which has a value of 90, and then five plus four, which is actually 500 plus 400. That's going to give us a nine in the hundreds place, which has a value of 900. So we get the same thing either way, but again, that expanded form really breaks that problem down for us and shows us what's going on. So there you have it. There's how you add three digit numbers using expanded form. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.